Hi friends, welcome back. This is Amol Ghor from Vidisha Infotech, and today we are going to learn about Python. Now, what is a Python? Python is a programming language, and it is an OS programming language, which is now let's see what is Python. Now, Python is interpreted. It is interactive. It is object-oriented, and mostly, it is a beginner's language. The one who want to begin in the programming can use Python as a lot. Then, features of Python are it is. easy to learn easy to read easy to maintain a broad standard library interactive mode then portable extensible database gui programming and many more then supports functionalities support functions structures then the object oriented programming concepts it also easily gets interacted with c programming c++ then uh, there is java also then activex compilers and so on so basically telling that python is a perfect programming material to learn for those who are new so the programming part now as i am saying it is here it is now what here it is we don't have to execute anything in python suppose if we want to print something in java or we have to code something in java what do we have to write we have to write a lengthy code but here in python it is not like that we can directly call it in the python let's see print Hello, what? So, it gives me syntax error. I think. Okay. So there are some changes here. print else or else it was in the earlier version version of python it executed like this but here this is the third version so that's why it is here it is it is executed in this way so what it tells us that it compiles means in the python directory itself means the python this is the editor of python means the version here it is python 3.8.3 that what it does it compiles it it takes the command and directly compiles it for the user suppose if i want to print twenty plus thirty
so here it is it is giving me directly the answer same way i can print out means what the python has done it has done the coding it has uh, reduced the coding for all the users for the new learners means we can get the output directly we just we require the python compiler or the python software to be installed in your system let's see some different three multiplied by three that is equal to nine plus five minus n so three three into three is nine nine plus five is fourteen fourteen minus ten so what must be our output it must be four let's see yes is so in this way we can do multiple things in python so what we have in python is it is same it consists of object oriented programming object oriented programming is the advanced part of python we will be seeing regular expressions then mysql database access then network programming then sending emails using smtp multi threading programs in python xml parsing geo programming uh, this is this is what i'm telling for is of advanced python programming the basics are the same as we have learned in java c++ programming that is literals decision making variables operators then loops and then what do we say input output date time then tuples directories then io exception handling and so on so with this i will take a leave i will present my next video day after tomorrow as i told that there it will be one day it will be php and one day it will be python and one thing i need to inform is that as per the lockdown due to the lockdown there are some requirements some users some students have told me some youtube users have told me or learners have told me that we need to complete the portion in means of fast time so i will be producing two two videos three three videos in a day